Welcome to Artwork, a professional development program about working in the visual arts in Atlantic Canada. I'm Sarah Jones, the curator at Jones Gallery in St. John, New Brunswick. Today on Digital Strategies for Visual Artists, we will answer this question about social media. Why is no one seeing my posts? Because you haven't paid for it. <laughs> social media is the same as any other privately owned media company. We are not entitled to free press coverage or views just because we're in the arts, sadly. There are no regulations compelling private media companies to give us stuff for free. The only guaranteed way of being on the air, in the paper, or seen by every single fan on Facebook or Instagram is to purchase advertising. The trick to being seen for free by lots of people on Facebook or Instagram is the same as attracting free coverage by a newspaper or a radio station, is to do something compelling, different, or surprising. And even then, when you do all of those things, <laughs> there's still no guarantee of coverage. So we all know that feeling. We send out a press release or we make a new post where we think this is the most exciting thing ever. And then nobody sees it or, or no newspaper picks up <laughs> the press release or calls us back. And that's just, that's just how it is sometimes. Facebook and Instagram social media platforms, they know that we have something to gain by using their platforms. And they don't charge their users or our fans, the followers. Their revenue model is based on advertising, so we have to pay. I know that can be frustrating, but that's how media has worked pre and post digital age. So bottom line, the key to eyeballs on social media is to one, pay by advertising. When Facebook or Instagram says to promote this post, that's what that means, you, you promote it. Most of us are in small businesses with limited geographic scope, so we're not multinational co corporations. So it's actually relatively inexpensive to advertise on platforms like uh, Facebook and Instagram, for, for now anyway. You can actually start to see some results for say a budget of $5 or $20. We'll link to articles and resources in the video notes on how to start doing that. Two, again, I mentioned this already, but by posting compelling and diverse content following the rules I outlined in the previous two videos. The third tactic is consistency. So eventually people will see your post because you post day in and day out. I would recommend trying to advertise or promote a post once in a while for just a, a small budget. Just give it a try, especially when it's something important or when you're asking uh, for something from your audience. So come to my exhibition or buy a ticket or buy a painting. If you want, if you don't want to pay and you want the viewer or the user to pay, you have to move to a model like Substack where you can opt to charge users a subscription fee to view your content, but then your content has to be really good. Email newsletters can actually be a good alternative or a supplement to social media, and we'll talk about that in a later video. One last thought on social media eyeballs before we move on. Uh, I gave this advice about website analytics, and that's to not be too hung up on the numbers. You might have 50 or 500,000 followers on Instagram. But if they're the wrong 50,000 people for you, if overall or over time, you're not getting something out of it, right? You're not getting commissions or opportunities or sales, things that are moving your career forward, then this is probably not the right audience. And it might not be worth all that effort because dealing with a voluminous social media following, is a, it's a huge amount of work. But if you've worked to build up, say, a small audience, a small but mighty audience of 1,000 or 1,500 people on Instagram or Facebook, and they are really invested in you, they care about you, and they show that with their money or their time, then it's working just fine, and you don't have to worry about getting to that 50,000 or 500,000 number. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. We would like to acknowledge Canada Council for the Arts for supporting uh, the artwork webinar series, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.